Hello everyone, welcome to Electric YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to we are going to form Y bus using singular transformation method. Okay, here is our problem. Form Y bus for the given data using singular transformation. The data given as here. Okay, this is uh, the sending end bus. This is ending bus. This is impedance value. So we need to we need to make Y bus. You know that Y is equal to one by Z. Z is nothing but impedance. Y is nothing but admittance. Okay, okay. This is the sending end buses. Look, one, one to two, two to three, two to four, three to four, and one to three. Okay, but we need to write a generalized MATLAB program for the execution of this program such that the user can enter any number of values but the program should be same. So we need to write a generalized program. Okay, let's open MATLAB and we will do open MATLAB. Okay, now I am opening. Okay. So it will come come like this. Okay, CLC. Okay, now just take a new script. Okay, before only you can save it. Save as singular. Now we are doing with singular transformation method. Already there. Okay, singular T. Okay, save. Now you should enter the generalized uh, data. Friends, look here. We need to enter entire data at once. So, is take it as a one input, single input. Then we can extract that input. First, make CLC clear all, close all. Next, let's say we need to take a input A is equal to input Look, the enter starting bus in the first column ending bus in the second column and impedance in the third column you can see here the starting bus in the first column ending bus in the second column and impedance in the third column okay next to that so now we need to extract that data from the input okay so sending in bus that is let's say sb is equal to a of colon comma one one means we are now accessing the data from the first column similarly ending bus z is equal to a of colon comma two means second column similarly the z this that is nothing but the third column z is equal to a a of colon comma sorry comma three third column so we are accessing the data from the input the a that's why we are writing so we need to know how many lines so for that length is equal to sorry lines is equal to length length a the length a means you can see one two three four five five number of lines here uh, the lines should be any number of the user can enter any number of values it may be three also possible no so that's why that is generalized program okay length a then for we will apply for loop for this k is equal to one is one two lines the lines okay what we are entering here that lines only enter let's p is equal to is b of k you don't know that's why okay let's q is equal to e b of k okay then form a cap matrix 
ओके फॉर दैट ए कैप के कॉमा पी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन आई विल एक्सप्लेन वाई माइनस वन ओके टेक द सेंडिंग इज सेंडिंग एंड बसेस वैल्यू सेज दिस सेंडिंग इज एंड बसेस वैल्यू सेज माइनस वन then this as plus 1 like this one become here one one to two means it comes minus 1 becomes plus 1 so like that okay then similarly a cap k comma comma q is equal to 1 This is on sending end and bus on the ending end bus. Q means here ending end bus. Okay, ending bus. Okay. Okay. Now take this value to a a. Then form primitive Z matrix. Okay. K comma K. Z equal to Z of k. Then end end this for loop. Now a of colon comma one sorry comma one z equal to square bracket next prime a okay. y z equal to inverse of inverse of prime z what we discussed here like for only y is equal to one inverse of z no that's why z then let's assign the values b p is equal to open on bracket Trans, transpose, transpose, ये, transpose ये, into prim y, okay, then from y is equal to b into a then this y so when this is the program okay now our program is done okay this is this is the only program okay now we need to run this program okay uh, now there is no error i'm sure in in the command window you need to enter the values so first you open the square bracket then just enter and now you see the data 1 2 0.2 plus 0.6 j okay enter this 1 space 2 space then 0.2 plus 0.6 i enter from bus number 2 to 3 Zero point one five plus zero point seven i enter. Then we see the third number one two third two to four zero point two plus zero point seven five i. Then two to four zero point two plus zero point two. Plus zero point seven five. Hey, sorry, seven five. Yeah, five i. Enter. Next. Similarly, three to four. Three to four. Zero point two plus zero point eight i. Enter. Now one to three. Last one. 
0.1 plus 0.4i 0.1 plus 0.4i like that any number of inputs you can enter here then after entering you need to close this open at a bracket now so just close this okay now just enter the value wow it will shows like this look okay the the entered values here this is a matrix sorry this is entered value it will take like this okay this the number of lines is 5 it will automatically takes as 5 look 1 2 3 4 5 next p is 1 q is 2 like it will take all the each and step the matrix now z matrix look except the diagonal elements all the elements are zero here in the primitive in z matrix then the a cap matrix are formed here then the a matrix okay for each and everything it is showing next to that the primitive y matrix then here our z matrix okay this is z matrix so we are we kept this already showing why no we are putting here again so delete this and run this okay then why we need to do again and again oh shit just enter the values again and just enter it entering just enter okay okay just copy this code control C okay now run this you will get this just open then enter then control I copied the all values and close this uh, square bracket and just enter you will get this y bus only okay, this is the y bus what we required okay guys this is the y bus forming y bus using singular transformation method okay thanks for watching